Weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. It's nice to see all that sunshine, especially during a month that can typically be a little bit more cloudy and cold for us. A live look at our Mercy House Sky Track camera now out over Rochelle looking off to the northwest. While we've had plenty of sunshine out there today, starting to notice some of that cloud cover increasing, and our skies will actually turn mostly cloudy here as we go through the remainder of this evening and then into the night tonight. But with the sunshine and that southwesterly wind, our temperatures today made it back into the low 70s. We're now down to 62 degrees in Rochelle, 63 in DeKalb, 64 in Rockford, and 61 our current temperature in Freeport. Our weather watcher Bob here in Rockford this last hour checking in with 66, dew point number of 42. So starting to see a little bit of moisture increase. Otherwise, we've stayed fairly dry and we're going to stay pretty dry for the next several days. Our weather watcher Sandy north of the Kirkland Fairdale area checking in also 65 degrees and a relative humidity at 22 percent. So it actually has been a little bit more on the dry side when you talk about more the relative humidity. Now, we're starting to see that cloud cover increase. Reason for that area of low pressure that was down over the southwest yesterday. This is now working through the central plains. With that moisture starting to lift northeast, we've got the cloud cover. But remember, we're still pretty dry. So any chance for rain with this is pretty much nil here as we go through the rest of this evening. But you can actually see the moisture increasing. Love to show our water vapor imagery because this is like a snapshot of what's going on in the middle part of the atmosphere. You can really pick out where we've got moisture, where we've got dry air, kind of still dealing with some dry air overhead and over the southeast. But you can see as this dip in the jet stream develops here and pushes into the northern Rockies and into the high plains, we're tugging in that moisture coming in from the southwest. So again, all that's going to do is lead to a little bit more cloud cover. Now, the reason why we're not going to see much rainfall with this is because we've got a blocking area of high pressure to our south and southeast. That's really limiting just the amount of moisture that is able to return from the Gulf of Mexico. So we've actually got a lot of dry air uh, overhead. That pattern, though, will begin to change as that high pressure system eases up a little bit by early next week. We actually get some moisture tugged in from what was Hurricane Zeta, this actually expected to emerge back out into the Caribbean, into the Gulf, and could impact parts of the uh, western uh, coastline here of Florida going into the weekend. But we'll start to see some of that moisture pulled northward early next week, and that will bring back the chance for rainfall, most likely Monday, but definitely by Tuesday. So let's kind of plan things out because our skies, we've got the cloud cover here. Notice we do stay dry. It will start off a little more cloudy tomorrow, but as that system passes, to our east and southeast. We'll start to clear things out once again as we head into the afternoon. Starting off with the cloud cover tomorrow will limit just how warm we get. Temperatures will likely stay in the upper 60s, but still well above average for this time of year. So tonight we're down to 48 degrees, increasing cloud cover. Winds will stay light from the southwest. Temperature tomorrow right around that 69 degree mark. Mostly clouded to start us off with, decreasing cloud cover for the afternoon. And winds too, those will stay generally light. We bump it back into the low 70s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Just a slight chance for rain heading into Sunday afternoon. But we see that cold front come in, indicated by the drop in the temperatures. Could even hear a couple rumbles of thunder, guys, as we head into Tuesday and then back into the 40s by next week. Well, we're gonna